Hey, it's Gus from Arduino My Life Up, and today we're going to be building a very simple but cool Arduino Dice project. This is a simple project for introducing yourself to the basics of this board. The equipment you will need are an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, breadboard wire, seven 100 ohm resistors, a physical switch or push button, one 100k ohm resistor, and finally seven LEDs. So now let's get building our circuit. If you want a circuit diagram, just head over to arduinomylifeup.com and go to the dice tutorial and you can get it there. So firstly, connect the ground pins to the negative rails on the breadboard. We'll need to make use of both rails. Now hook up the 3v3 pin to the positive rail closest to the Arduino. Now place the 7 LEDs into the board. I will place them to represent a real dice face. I'm also placing the negative pin so that it faces the outside and the positive pin so it's facing the middle of the breadboard. Now place the switch onto the board, we will only need to use one side of the switch. Remember a switch is like a H circuit for example. These two pins are always connected but when you press the button it forms a circuit with the two pins below and vice versa. Now place the 100k resistor from the ground rail to one of the pins and a wire from the other pin to the positive rail. Now place a wire between the 100k resistor and the switch pin and have this go back to pin 2 on the Arduino. This will be our input pin. Now for all the LEDs, place a 100 ohm resistor from the negative pin on the LED to the ground rail. Once you have done this, start from pin 3 on the Arduino and connect a wire to the positive pin on the LEDs. Here is a little diagram showing the LEDs and which pins they are connected to. This is a little different to what is shown on the website due to the direction the camera is facing. Once you are done, we're ready to write some code, then upload it to the Arduino to bring it to life. The code in this project is very similar to the traffic light project I did earlier. If you want to check it out, you can find it here. In this project, however, we introduce an input device, the switch, and also produce a random number using the random seed function. This code is pretty long, so I recommend heading over to arduinomylifeup.com and simply downloading it. I'll briefly go into how the code is set up now. So now in the code bottom left refers to the location of the LED. This makes it easier to identify when editing the script. The number we're giving these variables are the pins they are connected to on the Arduino. The state and rare number variables will be used for storing numbers. You'll see these in action in, in a bit. This next bit of code is our setup, and this is where we assign pins to be output or inputs, and anything else we need to set up before we execute any further code. We'll set our button to be an input, and we'll also set up the random function properly. To do this, we, we enter serial.begin of n 9600, and also random seed analog read. This will help produce a random number for our dice. The loop part of our script continues to do a loop until the Arduino is either turned off or a new set of code is uploaded. At the start of the dice loop we check to see if the switch has been pressed. This will go to high when it is pressed. If we meet the conditions then we change the state to 1 and get a random number between 1 and 7. Once we have the random number we check to see what it is and run the relevant function. Once the function is done, we wait 4 seconds, then turn the LEDs off and return our state to zero, so the button can be pressed again to activate a new roll. Now here is an example of our 6 function. This is called whenever the dice produces the number 6. As you can clearly see, it sets all the relevant LEDs to high. This will turn on all the LEDs but the middle, so you can get the correct number of LEDs displaying that represents the dice face of 6. Rest of these functions do something similar for their corresponding number. The exception is clear all, and all this does is turn off all our LEDs. Now simply upload it to the Arduino and watch it go. 
I hope you have enjoyed this Arduino dice project and that it has helped teach you more about the basics of the Arduino and coding in Sketch. If you want to leave feedback, have questions or anything else, be sure to drop me a comment below or over at arduinomylifeup.com. Until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching, be sure to check out these 21 Arduino projects that anyone can do. If you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Arduino projects and much more, then please subscribe.